okay, really. It's gonna be okay. He's leaving. Oh, oh. The ship is leaving. Marco, he's gone. Baby, I'm so sorry. He said. He said he's not gonna come back. He's never gonna come back this time. See what he had to do to keep you safe. Congratulations, Mike. My husband's gone. Are you happy? You and Simon treated me like I was a piece of your property that you were negotiating for. We treated you like someone that we love. We do what we thought was best for you. Yeah. What was best for you? Simon got nothing. I didn't even get a say in the whole thing. But you, you got everything. Simon left, and I'm stuck here. I didn't get everything, not even close. I got the most important thing. I got to know that you'll be safe. No, if you're going to hate me for that, then... I'll pay the price. It's a damn sight better than stepping aside letting you die. But that wasn't your decision to make. Katie, I think I know what, what Mike is trying to say. You felt so obligated to Simon. Uh, he's my husband. Well, th that does not give him the right to put you in an impossible situation. Come on, to show up with an ultimatum, to pressure you, to, to give you no time to weigh out your options. Simon kept telling you there was no time, so you jumped. You decided it does not mean it was the right decision. Yeah, well, right or wrong, it was mine. I don't know why everybody else thinks that they can make my decisions for my life, except for me. I just thought that I... You thought for me. And now my husband's gone. And I hope you're happy. None of this makes me happy. But I did what I had to do. And I tell you what, I'd do it again. You were supposed to let me make up my own mind. You said you betrayed me. Baby, I know you're mad. You have every right to be mad. Please don't talk to me like a shrink. But listen to me. Sometimes we feel betrayed by the people who love us most. That's not what happened here. When Mike told me that... Were you part of this, too? I didn't know about the deal that Mike and Simon made, no. But I, I came to the boxcar with a warrant for Simon's arrest, but he is already gone. Did Mike tell you where? Yeah. Then why didn't you get him? Why didn't you flash your badge in the warrant? You could have gotten him off that boat. Why didn't you do that? I asked her not to. We were too frightened for you. Well, you don't have to worry about me anymore. Babe, where are you going, Katie? I'm going to the one last place that Simon and I were happy. Are you going to go to the boxcar? It's not safe back there. No, he's right. It's not safe. Just don't worry about me, okay? All of this keeping me safe. What has it left me except for without a husband forever? Don't. Let me come with you. No, I don't want you to hold my hand. Oh, my, my. I, can't, I can't let her run off like that. No. Not. You tell her. Oh, no, I, I don't think Katie wants anything to do with me. Yeah, really bad shape. You will? You know where it is? Oh, you're the best. Thank you so much. Okay, he's going to come and he'll bring Katie home. So why don't we just sit out here and tell them? Unless you want to be told to go to hell another 10, 12 times. I think you're the last person Katie wants to see right now. Simon told me she hate me. I guess he was right. What else could I do? You could have walked away. You could have given her some space. Oh, uh, I didn't do this alone. You and Simon were in on this, too. I just wonder if Katie will ever trust any one of us again. We just have to give her space and see what happens. Don't worry about me. I'll give her all the space she wants. I'm not going to spend the rest of my life apologizing for saving hers. I'm done running after Katie Frazier.
behind everything because you were my husband and it was right. Why did you let me do that? Why did you let me trust you? Why did you do it? It's okay. Hey, it's okay. Everything's okay. No, Mike did this. Mike and Margot told me to make a choice, and when I made a choice, they took it away from no, me. No, 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 no. Simon left because he had to, all right? Nobody made him. I thought he loved me. He did, honey. Hey, he did. But even Simon Fraser has to listen to reason every now and then. He should have just listened to me. I would have gone anywhere with him. I know. He knew that. He knew that. And that's why he didn't dare listen to you, because he knew if he did, he'd never have the strength to do the right thing. Oh, the right thing? Yeah. Look around, Henry. I have lost my husband, not once, but twice. And this time, I know he's out there. I know he's alive. I know he still loves me. How am I supposed to live with that now? How is that the right thing? It's the right thing because he put you first. It's the right thing... Because he loves you so much, he wanted you to have a real life, not a life of running and hiding and never having a home. I don't care about that. I do. I know your heart is breaking, but I, I'm so glad you're safe. Henry, it's not supposed to be like this. When someone loves you, they're supposed to stick around. Love is supposed to endure. It's supposed to be that one thing that you can always count on. Hey. Yeah. I know. And fairy tales. This is real life, sweetheart. Man, real life is so complicated. But I hate real life. I hate it too. But that's what we got. And Simon found that out. Oh, so that's it? You're just going to cut and run just because Katie chose Simon over you? That's not why. Because you did tell her that you would accept her choice, didn't you? You just wanted her to know the truth. Well, Simon told her the truth, and she still chose Simon. Oh, but now you're angry. I'm not angry. I'm just not going to be her whipping boy. I, I didn't do anything wrong. I shouldn't be punished for it. Life has just handed Katie too many curves. She's got to lash out at someone. No, not to me. Now, right, let's get out of here. Oh, I feel like I'm 102. You don't look a day past 90. It's probably just being in this place still. We should probably go. You sure you're ready? Yeah. Oh, I thought this was a place where Simon and I found each other again. It ends up just being one more goodbye. One more, because Mike and Simon decided to make a decision for me and change the rest of my life. Ugh! Well, wow. That sounds like something that should be shared over a martini. Yeah, one day, not now. I know, I know, I know. And I'm not trying to make light of this, I swear, okay? That's what you do best, to make light. I know, not this time. Um, when I saw Simon for the first time, when I realized I wasn't hallucinating, you know, I, uh... I had a bad feeling, Bubbles. I really did. I know he's I know he's nuts about you. He's crazy about you, but on balance, he's brought nothing but a truckload of sadness to your life. And you, of all people, were not born to be sad. That's why I'm so glad that you started to move on with your life before he came back. Oh, if you're talking about Mike, you have not been listening very closely. Well, Mike did what he did because he loves you. Yeah, well, that's not the kind of love I need. <laughs> 